welcome to another episode of PSRE Science Made Simple. I'm Vanessa, and I'm a PSRE Science Specialist here at the Pink Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of matter. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 6. The diagram below shows three objects and four children made the following comments after observing the objects. This question is asking who made the correct observation. Aisha observed that object B has the smallest mass. Based on the diagram given, are we able to determine the mass of the objects? No. Why are we unable to determine the mass of the objects? This is so as no electronic balance or lever balance were used to determine the mass of the objects. Therefore, it is not possible to tell the mass of the objects based on the diagram given. So let me write this here. Therefore, Aisha is not right. Let's look at the next comment made by Brenda. Brenda observed that object C has the largest volume. What is volume? Volume is the amount of space an object occupies. So if object C has the largest volume, this would mean that object C would occupy the most space. Is it true that object C occupies the most space in this diagram? Yes. We can see from this diagram that object C has the largest size and occupies the most space. Therefore, Brenda is right that object C has the largest volume. Let's look at the next statement made by Jessica. Jessica then observed that object B occupies the least space. Is Jessica right? Yes. From this diagram, we can see that object B has the smaller size and takes up the least space. Therefore, Jessica is correct. Let's have a look at the last comment made by Timothy. Timothy observed that object A has a smaller mass than object C. Remember? We talk about how the mass of the objects cannot be determined based on this diagram. Therefore, is Timothy correct? No. Why is this so? This is so as, similar to Aisha's comment, it is not possible to tell the mass of the objects based on the diagram given. Therefore, Timothy is not right as well. So out of the four students, Brenda and Jessica made the correct observations and the correct answer should be 3. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!